now, suddenly, the nation is stunned by sorrow. The news of the king's death came swiftly on top of pictures which showed his apparent recovery of health. The departure of the princess and Duke of Edinburgh for Nairobi had been the occasion of affectionate family farewells. The king was walking firmly and with confidence. How poignant now seem these pictures of the princess waving goodbye, not realizing that she would never see her father alive again, not knowing how short would be her empire tour and how soon she would be returning to Britain as queen of a bereaved and sorrowing people. The tragic news carried by the newspapers shocked everyone into silence. It was remembered how patiently and courageously the king had carried on his royal duties under the shadow of ill health. Our thoughts went back to last summer, to the period of anxiety when the announcement of his impending operation took the country by surprise. Then, as now, the king's brave demeanor had so cloaked his distress that the news, when it came, had been completely unexpected by the mass of the nation. The truth is that this country and the empire have been blessed by a sovereign whose example will remain an inspiration for generations to come.